What's going on guys? Jurassic here. Today we're back to World War Armies. We're going to hop into a battle on the American side today. All right, so we got the Americans against the Americans. He's got the mortar, machine gun, flamethrower, priest, wolverine, hellcat, lead tank, and the heavy tank. Engineering squad, you guys move out here. Flamethrower squad, you guys get deployed over here on the alpha side. Once we get enough points, we're going to send both over here to the Charlie side with our machine gun units. Looks like it's going to be a little bit different deck than ours, so it's going to be quite interesting to see what happens once we get to the tier three phase of the areas. Although, if we're able to keep him inside the tier 2 phase, I'm pretty sure our deck should be slightly stronger than his. Alright, so we'll get everybody out moving across here. We are a slight higher nation level than him, so we do have a little bit more bombs that we were able to deploy. Damage-wise, that's good to go. Engineering squad, you guys move across, get to the next tower. Now, what we do next is just sort of determined by what our opponent decides to do. If he's not a very heavy pusher, we typically use these 100-point crates to actually get more troops inside the game. If he is a pretty heavy pusher, we go in and focus on the towers in the back to make sure they're up and running. Once you get the towers up and running, you generate points much quicker. So, machine gun against flamethrower, we're definitely going to need to have a little bit extra boost on this. So let's do you, bomb strike, machine gun, you guys stick inside the area now that the bomb's good to go. Engineering squad, I accidentally move you out that crate, that's totally my bad. Alright, so flamethrower squad has managed to capture Alpha, so that's good to go. Charlie might need a little bit of extra protection though. Machine gun units definitely going to have to have... A little bit of help here. Can he manage to prevail? It's going to be super gross. Nice. Machine gun squad barely prevailed here. They're definitely going to want to have a little bit of help here. So machine gun, you guys get out the blast radius. Please survive. You guys have done so much. Woo. <laughs> you really should not be alive right now. So let's just retreat you back to the base. Don't even worry about it. You done good. Flamethrower squad is going to be making its way across the battlefield here. Flamethrower squad's already captured Alpha. So we're going to move across. Chase his flamethrower squad. Engineering squad, you guys are ready to go, so let's slap down this building. You move across the battlefield here. We're going to swap places with that guy. We know for a fact he's got a troop over on top of this crate, so we're just going to drop a bomb, sort of guess where he's standing on it, and hope that we get a direct strike. Looks like that's exactly where his mortar units were. Nice. Flamethrower squad's moving up inside the area here. Uh, let's see here. Get outside the building. Get on the tower. Get it done. There we go. All right, so they should be over inside the zone now. Guys, we're kind of stuck on in the wrong area. Machine gun unit, you guys need to move across. Destroy these guys. Flamethrower squads, push them outside the areas here. We got five seconds before we're able to deploy a bomb on this machine gun unit. We're definitely going to need to do that. Uh, let's see. Alpha, we did manage to push them outside of that zone. Do we have a healthy unit? You move across. Machine gun unit can't really do too much. But now one more tower there. If you get too close to us, machine gun, you're going to die. All right, so we got our healthy machine gun units. We're going to move them over towards Charlie. Yes, Flamethrower squads are taking a massive damage right now. Oh, you know what? Turn outside the blast radius. Go, go, go. Machine gun units yes, now manage to make it inside the territory here. Flamethrower squad, get inside that zone. If he wants to fight close quarter, we'll give him a close quarter match. Machine gun units, you guys sneak across. Get a little bit of extra damage going on here. His flamethrower is moving up on us. We're definitely going to have to deal with that. See here, wait, see what happens. If he gets immediately on top of that crate, we're definitely going to do a bomb strike and get both of these guys over in one spot. Amen. See, flamethrower squad's going to run away here. Machine gun unit's going to neutralize that. Flamethrower squad, get inside of this building. Get to the tier two phase of the game. Other machine gun units, you guys get over here. Flamethrower squad, retreat back to the base. See, you guys will move across. That'll get to this tier two. Boom, slap you down. Once we get 150 points, which we don't have yet. Charlie's got a bomb strike on top of his head. Once again, our machine gun somehow survives. Oh, he got crushed by a mortar unit. Range squad, get over inside this area. Get covered. All right, some machine gunners definitely going to need some help here. We're just going to get rid of this flamethrower squad. We want this crate. It's not even the most <laughs> most point crate in the game or anything. We just are fighting for it for our life, and we're going to grab it. All right, so flamethrower squad, I completely missed that one. So he's going to be grabbing that post away from us. That was worth so much more than the one we were going for the entire time, but it's fine. Charlie, it looks like we finally pushed him outside of there. Range squad's going to activate our firing squad and get rid of him. He's caught in a bomb strike on top of our guys once again. So we do need to move you outside the blast radius. Let's get you inside that house. Priest tank, let's get you over inside this territory here. So our flamethrowers are going to be burning his mortar units right now. Machine gun units are all stocked up and ready. So let's use you, flamethrower squad. Let's get you over inside this zone. His mortar units are being toasted alive right now. If you want to fight our flamethrowers, we'll give you a fight. All right, so let's check back in the top here. He's just got a mortar unit over at the top there. The priest, let's go ahead and take out this mortar units. We don't want to deal with them. Flamethrower squad, you guys get over inside this area. If he wants to retreat away, let him retreat. All right, so you need to retreat away. He's got the priest tank over. Ooh, inside that area. Activate the radar, Bruce. Priest, go for his priest. Range squad. 
Go for his as well. He's got a flamethrower squad over inside that territory. Our priest is now getting inside the zone here, so we'll slap down one more building. We know for a fact he's got several mortar units over inside the territories here. Engineering squad. He wants to sit here and stay right there and fight. Give him a fight. Flamethrower squad, you guys turn around over inside this zone here. Machine gun unit, you guys have done good. Fall back to the base. Range squad, you guys have done good. Fall back. Looks like he's going to die. Priest tank's going to be in direct fire. Woo! Priest takes some massive damage, but he does manage to survive. We're going to immediately pull him back to the base here. Engineering squad, let's get on you on some repairs. He's going to have to push up and chase us if he wants to kill us, and we're not going to let him happen. Priest tank, fall back. Wait inside the area. Activate the bomb strike on top of his flamethrower squad. Our flamethrower squad needs to retreat away. One bomb strike should do it, men! Priest, can you turn and fire at him? All right, so you guys are not going to chase. You're going to wait. Heading that way. He did activate his big bomb strike already, so we'll wait for that. Sherman tank, let's get you over inside this zone. Bravo's locked in. Alpha's locked in. We are slot capped right now. We know for a fact he's got a couple crazy dudes over the top there. Machine gun units, you guys get over inside this zone. And that should give us a little bit of a breather. So you know what? Engineering squad, you guys come over here to this tower. If he wants to sit here and try to throw bombs at it, so be it. He's got the Wolverine coming up on the side of the area here, so we're definitely going to need to move you. Priest, get over that way. Sherman Tank, get ready for war. Sherman Tank's over on top of this Wolverine. Activate a big bomb strike. Boom. Priest Tank, get over here. Give him some support. Engineering squad's taking in some damage right now. Engineering squad, let's see here. Sherman Tank's taking on the Wolverine. One more hit should do it. Priest Tank just needs to wipe out this mortar unit, and that's good to go. So you can fall back. Engineering squad. You guys go for repairs. The machine gun unit's going to swap places with you. We have the priest over inside that territory. He's locking down everything for that. Let's go ahead and slap down a pillbox over inside this zone. Looks like he's got a mortar unit still over inside here. We definitely want to make sure we're taking care of this guy. So let's send you over that way. Machine gun unit, you're also going to be going over here. Take care of this mortar. Once we get 150 points, which we already have, slap down another tower there. That's going to give us a range boost that we need. The priest tank's going to be good to go. German tank, it managed to retreat all the way back to the base here, so we're going to actually pull him back. Well, Heading that way. yeah, we'll, we'll just let both of these guys retreat away. Engineering squad was pretty beat up anyways. So get all those guys up and running. So our machine gun unit should be able to take on this mortar unit. We got everybody else over inside a good area here. He's got a priest, Hellcat, flamethrower squad pushing up forward here. German tank, we're going to need you. German tank's going to be locking on top of that. Priest tank, got to go for his priest. 35 sec. <laughs> Yeah, we gotta go for it. By. Sherman Tank, go, go, go. Priest Tank's going to be attempting to destroy his priest. It's all the way across the battlefield, and we gotta ignore his Hellcat. A couple shots should do it, though. Sherman, get you over inside this territory. Priest taking a massive damage. I think we're just gonna to have to lose him. There we go. Boom. You got destroyed. Oh, ooh. Did not have enough time to call him back to the base. Let's grab the Wolverine, send him out this way towards the Hellcat. Engineering squad, get over here on top of this Sherman. Your job is to keep them alive at all costs. Engineering squads, get deployed. Go, go, go. We want this Sherman healed faster than anything you've ever healed before. He's got a flamethrower over on the top there, to causing some the issues. Enemy. Engineering squad, you guys fall with their Sherman. Ready for action. Sherman take turns. Fires at his ex enemy. Wolverine, don't you dare drive into that blast radius. Wolverine narrowly escapes Let's death. <laughs> Sherman Tank, move over on top of that guy. Boom, you guys are all targeting that. Engineering Squad, let's get for some heals. Do we have any ground troops at all? Range Squad, you guys get over here. We typically have a whole bunch of ground troops, but this time we're doing a totally different battle than normal. See your flamethrower squads, boom, slap that down. Wolverine, all we need to do is hit one target here. We're listening, Commander. He is going to be pushing us outside of this area. Boom, Engineering Squad's managed to get that outside the way. Wolverine technically could be repaired. Sherman's actually a much better guy to target a ground troop compared to the Wolverine. That's good to know. So slap down the upgrade. That's going to allow us to get to the next tier. Yes. Once we get 300 points, we'll be able to do more with that. Engineering squad, let's go ahead and start healing up the Sherman tank. We basically locked down this area here. He's got a Wolverine coming inbound. So we are going to need to worry about you. Range squad, let's get over here inside this building. Ignore that machine gun unit. Wolverine's got that taken care of. We need this range boost so we can see. Burn and burn, man. All right, so that's going to have a machine gun unit. He's got mortar units. It looks like he does not care at all about this side. We'll just run inside of his territory, start stealing some of those towers. We'll get that destroyed. Engineering squad still going to be attempting to heal up this Wolverine squad and see if he can get him finally healed up. 
I don't think he actually has any building over here, so we're going to be able to take that from him. He activated a bomb strike on top of our engineering and Wolverine squad. We did manage to survive. Sherman tank, see if it can does enough damage to kill this Wolverine or machine gun squad. Sherman tank did upgrade its veteran C, but it was not able to actually kill him in time. Ready to take out the enemy. All right, so that'll be good. We're taking another tower away from him. We're not necessarily pushing up too much inside of his territory, though. Range squad, let's fall back. Get over here. Sherman Tank, you guys have done good. Engineering squad still on top of repairs. Let's get a priest unit, park him over here at the top. Range squad's going to have to be moving back and forth here. We didn't manage to completely dominate this battlefield. That guy died, but it was for a good cause. So we got Americans against Americans. He's got the Rifle Squad, Machine Gun, Flamethrower, Light Tank, Chafe Tank, Lead Tank, Heavy Tank, and the Purse. Engineering move, Squad, you guys boys. move out here, grab the Flamethrower Squad, Flame send them out over to the right side. On. Once we get 100 points, we'll be able to grab the Machine Gun Unit, send them over to the left. And then we should be relatively set in this early game area here. Americans don't really have much to go against any ground vehicles, so unfortunately, our push is going to be primarily to try to get to this tier 2 as quickly as possible, because that's when we're actually able to defend ourselves against any frontal attacks. Engineering Squad, you guys move across here. See here, Flamethrower Squad managed to make it there uncontested so far, so it looks like our opponent hasn't actually deployed anybody close to the crates just quite yet, which is good for us. Looks like neither crate had anybody at all rushing towards it. Engineering Squad's going to take this time to capture all the crates over in the background here, and then we'll be able to decide what to do from there. He is going to have one Flamethrower Troops. So that's going to give us a little bit of issues here. Our Flamethrowers are the exact same level, though. Okay. Engineering Squad, you guys fall back over to the other side. Machine Gun Unit, you guys are doing good. So, if our machine gun units survive, we're going to stick them inside the houses. On the move. All right, so machine gun unit, you guys target them. Looks like he's going to be rushing up inside of our territory, so let's go and build both of our towers real quick. He immediately goes for a house inside of our territory. That's kind of annoying, so machine gun unit, you guys move across there. Flamethrower squad, you guys are going to turn on his flamethrower squad and burn them alive. Activated a bomb strike on top of his flamethrower squad. He's got rifle units moving inbound here. Reporting Engineering squad, you guys are taking in some damage, so let's go and fall you back. He's going to do a bomb strike on top of our guys, just like we did to him. Machine gun unit's going to have to push him out. You know what? Let's go and grab this house before he steals it. Machine gun, you guys go out that way. Alright, so this flamethrower squad is giving us quite a bit of a hard time here. We could stall and move back to the base. Yeah, yeah, let's grab you. Ready to burn we gotta get him outside of that house. That's going to be our main issue here. As soon as he's out of the house, we'll be good to go. We got enough. Uh, we don't have enough to do that yet. So let's see. Bomb strike, boom. Drop it on top of the flamethrower's head. Machine gun units, you guys can push up forward here. Let's get this flamethrower outside of this house range, and then we'll be good to go. Machine gun unit, you guys keep targeting that house. Engineering squad, you guys get over here on top of that zone so you can get a little bit better repairs. You go for that house immediately. Ready to move. He's definitely going to be the kind that hides inside the buildings the entire time. He's going to be rushing up forward there. So boom, you slap down. It's going to get to building. Engineers, turn and get this tower up and running. Standing by. See here, flamethrower squad is going to neutralize that zone. Machine gun is going to be taking machine gun. He's going to activate a bomb strike on top of our flamethrower squad. So we're going to do that. Boom. Destroy this house. Machine gunners, you guys need to get that going. Engineering squad, you guys fall back. Flamethrower squads are good to go. That house is about to fall. Flamethrower squads inside of our territory. We do need to get him outside the area here. And let's go and slap on our flamethrower squad inside of this other house. So our machine gun units are definitely going to need to have a little bit of backup here. So let's grab one more flamethrower squad, send them out towards that. Machine gun can't really do too much. Flamethrower squad should be able to burn this guy from the outside. Oh, get inside the house. Um, let's grab you, send you back to the base here. Flamethrower squad, take on flamethrower. Engineering squad, get over here on this house. He hasn't really done anything at all to the towers yet. So that's good. Flamethrower squad, you guys go over there. He activated a bomb strike on top of you, so we're not going to necessarily worry about that too much. So let's see, Flamethrower Squad's going to need to take on his Flamethrower Squad. And Alpha, it looks like it's going to stay ours as long as he doesn't stand on top of it, though, so that's good. Machine Gun, you guys need to turn on this Flamethrower Squad and just wipe them out. Range Squad's going to be deployed. See if we can get you guys a little bit better backup. All right, so we've got another Machine Gun unit. He's going to be in standby here, so let's get him on top of this Flamethrower. Our machine gun that's done fantastic so far. You need to just fall just back to the base. Range squad, you guys go for that house. Flamethrower squad, you guys go for the burn. I don't even need to do that bomb strike. Cancel that. Flamethrower squad, one more hit. There we go. He's toasted. Fall back to the base. Grab a bazooka unit. Send him out this way. 
Now his machine gun unit is upgraded. We don't have necessarily too much points yet. We do have plenty of stuff to get to the tier 3 phase though. Everybody's getting healed up at the base right now. Engineering squad's ready. Machine gun unit's getting inside the zone. Let's move you guys like two steps forward here. Machine gun unit, you're going to need to fall back. Get on top of this flamethrower unit. And let's grab the priest. There we go. Now we're starting to get somewhere. Bazooka units, you guys go for flamethrower. Machine gun, looks like you guys are going to have to trade places with the range squad because there's no way you guys are going to be able to take on that beating him from the heat. All right, so let's do a bomb strike. Boom. Priest tank's going to be inside of a good range to start taking the flamethrower troop outside the areas. Bazooka units, you stand on top of this zone here. We keep them outside of our territory, men. This flamethrower squad's going to attempt to be hiding over inside that zone. Priest tank, let's get rid of this building here. Range squad, you guys fall back. Engineering squad, you guys are good to go. I don't know what you guys are firing at, but just move over this way. Flamethrower squad, you guys move out over inside that territory so we can see a little bit better. Bazooka squad, you fall back. Good to go. All right, priest tank, we need to move you forward. Some engineering squad need to move forward as well. Machine gun units, you guys are going to be waiting here. Range squad, you move that way. Boom, boom. Machine gun goes against that. Bomb strike on top of this light tank. Do we have our... I don't necessarily have anything for that, so we'll just move you that way. Machine gun units, definitely going to need to have a little bit of backup, but he'll be fine for now. Let's go ahead and take out this building real quick while we still have everybody up and running. We want to make sure they all die. Range squad, you're going to fall back to the base. One more hit should completely wipe out that building. Priest tank, we're just going to go forward for it. Engineering squad needs to move outside the way here. Priest command. tank managed to dodge all the bullets here. Reporting for duty. That yes, was his one man. big attack and he managed to miss. So that's good for us. Engineering squad, let's get you over here deployed. Machine gun unit, you guys need to fall back to the base, get some health. Priest tank, commander. fall back here. Range squad, get inside of that house. Flamethrower squad, you guys are going to wait. Priest tank's going to have to turn and attack the chafe immediately. Let's get a bazooka unit over inside the territory here. Engineering squad, get on that priest immediately. Ready to Machine gun units, you guys are going to get deployed. See if our bazooka units are able to get to this chafe in time. Bomb strike, boom, playing on top of the chafe's head. Can his little chafe do it? All right, so we activated a bomb strike. Bazooka squads are now within range, and we managed to destroy it. Priest tank, turn around. Engineering squad's going to give you some repairs. You're good to go, buddy. All right, flamethrower squad, you guys are now ready. Let's get inside that house. Machine gun unit, you guys go over that way. Get outside the blast radius. Blow that command. See, Priest Tank, you're going to have to wait. Engineering Squad, go for repairs. Flamethrower Squad's going to be inside that building, basically preventing him from being able to hide. Zuka units, you guys get inside of that house. Range Squad, you guys fall back and get back inside the area so you can heal up them. Machine Gun units are going to get over inside here. He's going to have a Flamethrower Troop on top of Alpha, so we're going to get a Bomb Strike on top of that. Priest Tank, you're going to be destroying this Flamethrower Squad. He does have a Radar Boost, so he knows exactly where we are right now. We're going to make sure that we don't have all of our troops over planted on top of each other because that's going to be what gets you a loss inside when you're going against the Americans. Since they can plant a bomb on top of whatever tank area that they want to, okay. that allows your opponent to pick and choose which battle they want to fight. Let's so you definitely forward. don't want to have everything too like close together or else you will lose. So we do have enough to get the tier 3 phase. Engineering squad, you guys are just running around because you have no clue what to do. Machine gun units, you guys are doing good. All we got to do is take on a couple more flamethrower squads, prevent him from pushing up, and we should be fine. All right, so we got one range squad healthy in yes, the background man. here, so let's move him forward here. This flamethrower is basically just holding down this house. As long as he survives, we're good to go. Machine gun unit, you fall back to the base. You've done good. Alpha's locked in, secured. He's building up all of his pillboxes. Looks like he's attempting to push up around that crate side over there. So we do need to go and make sure engineers over inside. Move it, squad. Let's do like the middle area here, because we don't want everyone way too close together. Priest. I think this is pretty well spread apart to where he's not able to target one side and be able to hit anything that too essential. Range squad, you guys go for the light tank. If our engineering squad isn't doing too much, we could just deploy him over here on top of this flamethrower squad, and that's probably going to be our best bet because we can get that house up and running, and that house is going to be the protection that we need. Green, you guys get inside this area here. Uh, you know what? You guys get right there. We don't want you too close to the rest of our guys here. We could deploy some bazooka units if we need to. Range squads have been upgraded. So let's get you guys back to the base here. He's got one upgraded pillbox that we can see at least. He's going to be capturing that crate. And I'm assuming he's going to be going for that crate up top eventually too. So you know what? Let's just go for this guy. Machine gun unit. Why are you not listening to commands? Go! Machine gun unit's going to come over here. Give that 400.1 for us. Range squad, you guys move forward here. Machine gun unit. You guys spread apart over inside of this territory. Looks like he's going to be doing a mad rush over inside the top area here. 
His tank immediately turned away here. Wolverine tank, go for the chafe. Priest tank, you go for the chafe. Scroll back up top here. Machine gun against rival squad. And we prevail. Wolverine's going to be taking on that. He's already used up his 100 point move quite frequently. So I don't think he's going to have enough bomb strikes within range here. So they get wiped out. Engineering squad, you guys have done good. Get back over to the priest. Make sure we got him topped up on health. Range squad, you guys take on the flamethrower squads. Get them outside the blast. Ooh. He's got a big bomb strike over here. See, the priest is able to drive outside the blast radius in time. Woo. <laughs> Just barely. But he didn't manage to survive. So that's good to go. Range squad, get on top of this flamethrower squad. I didn't think he'd be able to do another one, but it looks like he was able to. German tank, you move over that way. Ready to move. You know what? Flamethrower squad, pull you outside the building. Machine gun unit, get you over there. Flamethrower squad, you guys fall back over inside this territory. German tank, you're basically going to be the full guy. You got a little bit more armor compared to the Wolverine. So that's good to go. Range squad's going to be locked and secured. Strategic point captured. And now we hold down the zone. So now we can start building our pillboxes. We could upgrade our towers. That way we don't have to necessarily do too much range moves. So let's go and do one of these guys. That'll just get us a little bit better visual. I don't think his pillbox is going to be able to do too much to the house. Looks like our machine gun's doing pretty good. Range squad goes against the light tank. Wolverine, you guys go against the light tank. At this point in the game, the light tank is a waste of money. So every single time you call it in, it's just going to give your opponent free kills. Especially if they're using stronger tanks. Wolverines does take advantage to get a little bit beating up, but not too bad. All right, so he activated his range boost here. Rifle squad needs to die by the range squad, and we're good to go. Sherman tank's just going to be hanging out over inside this territory here, so he can decide to either destroy the priest or the Wolverine. He's already used this 100 point move, so I know it's going to take him a minute. Sherman tank, you guys go against the heavy tank. Wolverine, you guys go against the heavy tank. And the big bomb strike. Wait for him to stop moving. Pull it in. But that tank's going to be locked in and secured. Tanks are kind of finicky when it comes to retreating away. They have to find a clear line of sight to be able to move across. So unfortunately, since we had basically ran up right on top of him, the only way he was able to do that is to come down inside this area, which sort of funneled him towards our priest. But that's fine since we were able to crush him. German tank's going to be taken on the flamethrower squad. Looks like that was his one big push, and he managed to get crushed. Let's see, flamethrower squad, get over inside this territory here. I think we did a relatively decent job of preventing him from getting to the tier three phase of the game. So that was good. That was a nice match. All right, guys, that's going to be it for today. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.